so friends uh, we started our webinar way back in 2021 when the complete world was in the grip of pandemic and that was the time i thought the photographers are not uh, getting out of their uh, even rooms and houses uh, to uh, click photograph so let us start something online so then we started uh, in the month of august 2020 and the first webinar was conducted by anil akhil rikhad uh, uh, akhil ji and then our guest tonight they supported our club very much uh, during those time uh, i can start uh, ricardo dusi presented uh, his uh, photo showcase in the month of october 2020 uh, followed by anil risal singh sir on 24th october 2020 then uh, dr b k sinha on 2nd january 2021 and uh, uh, joseph snelger on 6th february 2021 so our guests tonight are not new for us our guests tonight have always supported dhanbad camera club uh, with a full uh, hearted energy and uh, enthusiasm uh, so uh, this is the history about our uh, uh, photo webinar and we reached today at the 50th Uh, position that is that that's why we are celebrating our golden jubilee photo webinar and uh, uh, now i will uh, request our advisor lisa snelger uh, who is our uh, i can say very very active uh, member of our club uh, to introduce our guests over to lisa mukesh thank you for this honor we have four accomplished and distinguished presenters with us this evening and it is my pleasure to introduce them first we have ricardo busi born in 1958 in florence italy doctor of political sciences master in diplomatic career and in international organizations fiat president since 2012 he was previously general secretary for 10 years from 2002 to 2012 a travel no, 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 no. and a uh, travel in nature yeah carry on carry on okay. a travel in nature photographer he started to take pictures more than 45 years ago and has won numerous international competitions He was FIAP world champion 8 times and vice champion 3 times. He has to his credit 451 exhibits in 37 different countries and 339 juries in 38 different countries. FIAP master, M FIAP and E FIAP platinum. He has 87 international distinctions including guest professor of Shandong University of Art and Design, Jinan Honorary President of Silk Road Photographic International Alliance (SRPOIA), Shandong Tourism Culture Imaging Ambassador, Honorary Advisor to Photographic Alliance of America, Distinción Oro de la Confederación Española de Fotografía. Secondly, we have J. R. Snellzer. JR is currently the president of PSA, the Photographic Society of America Worldwide. He has also served PSA as the executive VP, elections VP, and conference VP. JR has achieved GMPSA and FPSA and also EFIOP and ESFIOP. He has been awarded honorary status in many photographic organizations around the world. JR began his photographic passion as a young boy working alongside his dad in the dark room his first major award was a gold key in 1964 as a high school student which was the only photography award in his high school jr has gone on to win many prestigious awards including the nature conservancy photo contest his images have, have appeared in magazines books and calendars and also featured in stage productions and on album covers for the musical group mannheim steamroller 
He began a Master of Fine Arts in Photography at Ohio State University, and while there, worked with Ansel Adams, Minor, Minor White, and others. He later had the opportunity to work with Kim Weston, the grandson of Edward Weston. He is responsible for the formation of the Center for Fine Arts Photography in Colorado. He has served as president of the Loveland Photographic Society, and he was named first in the world in 2019 PSA Who's Who for both small color and small monochrome prints. He judges locally, regionally, and internationally. Then we have Dr. Barun Sinha. In 1970, he had some used equipment. He got his first SLR, Minolta SR7 and SR1 with a 55 millimeter 1.8, in a 200 millimeter 5.6 lens. In seven, 1972, it was his first wildlife image at Betla Palamu of an Indian dar. And if I pronounce that incorrectly, I believe it's an Indian bison. <laughs> that was the year of his first pictorial image also. Then he was the founder secretary of the Photographic Association of Bihar in 1975. In 1977, he joined the Federation of Indian Photography, FIP, as LM. 1988 and 1989, he took over as president of Photographic Association of Bihar and started Salon Participation seriously. 1999, he became secretary for FIP Salon Recognitions. In 2002, he was vice president, followed by acting president of FIP. And in 2003, he was the best Indian participant for three years in a row. And then in 2004, he was elected president of FIP and received the ALLPC honorary FIP. In 2006, he had the second term as president of FIP and organized the FIP convention at Patna. 2008, the eighth international ranking in PSA Nature Who's Who. He was elected as president FIP in 2010, and that year he was also awarded the coveted M. Fiat for his series on cheetahs. In 2011, while president, he was appointed as acting honorary secretary of FIP following the sad demise of Mr. Binu Sen. 2012 to present, he has served as the honorary secretary general of FIP, and he was unanimously elected to that position. 2016 awarded ES FIOP at the FIOP World Congress at Seoul. And in 2020, he was the first recipient of MFIP in nature. And then we have um, our last presenter today will be Anil Rusal Singh. Born at Agra in 1954, he graduated from Lucknow Christian College in 1974 with post-graduation from Lucknow University in 1976 and then Diploma in Photography from Institute of Science and Technology, Mumbai. He traveled widely and exhibited his photographic images throughout the world, and his work is in personal and institutional collections at home and abroad. He was the ex-president from 2013 to 2016 of the Federation of Indian Photography, the premier national body of photography in the country. Retired as head photo division, National Research Laboratory for Conservation of Cultural Property, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. He's the president of Lucknow Camera Club in India, and this is a 40-year-old camera society. He has many awards, including the National Award of Photography Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India 2011, UNESCO Award in 2009, the Kodak Excellence Award, the Sony World Photography Award in 20, 2007, the Venice International Photography Award in 2008, the UP Lalit Kala Art Photography All India Award three times in 2003, 2005, and again in 2013. He received the SAARC Award in 2014. He received the Nikon BP Photographer of the Year Award in 2005. And he has a senior fellowship in visual art photography conferred by the Ministry of Culture, Government of India in 2018. He received a Charles Wallace professional grant to study photography collections in different museums of England in mm -hmm. 1999. And he's the chairman in, 
2015, he was the chairman of the Jury Committee for Lifetime Achievement Award in Photography by the Government of India. Look forward to seeing all of your images today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Uh, friends, uh, in fact, uh, we want to keep maximum time for our guests for their presentation. So our next uh, agenda is releasing of our monthly bulletin, DCC bulletin. Uh, friends, uh, we are publishing our bulletin uh, for last uh, 27th, uh, 29th month. And every month we are coming out with a bulletin of uh, not less than 50 pages. We started our first bulletin with only three pages. Uh, but God uh, blessed us and today we are uh, very good in give, giving our bulletin up to 60 pages. So now I'll share my screen and I will just... Uh, uh, so the salient points of the bulletin, I will not read the every page because we want to steal more time. <clears throat> Let me... My screen is visible to all? Yes, yes. Indeed. Yeah. So this is our uh, 20, 28th issue. And uh, the, uh, on the cover page, we have an image from... Uh, uh, Ionis Nikoris, uh, our Secretary General of FIA. This is our fourth year publication. And there are some salient uh, special uh, uh, articles uh, in, in this magazine. Likewise, one is the article, a regular article by Anil Rishal Singh uh, on the legendary photographers. Then uh, for the last six months, we are publishing uh, NVF uh, portfolio. So this month, we are having a portfolio of Ionis Nikoris. And then a photo story uh, by me on a check from uh, wooden textbook textures. This is our scooty body. Uh, uh, we will share the bulletin so all can. Uh, uh, these are the achievements by uh, our uh, chief advisor, advisor by me, uh, other members. And this is a very important page on page number seven, where um, I have uh, placed uh, the QR code of a YouTube link. Uh, for the previous webinars by our guest tonight. Uh, we always, we every month we to go for photo walk and again uh, this month we have planned on 21st. Then these are the uh, images from the photo walks. I will go fast. This is the uh, article by Anil Rishal Singh sir on the legendary photographer Jagan Mehta. Then uh, distinction portfolio of Ionis Ligaris uh, on uh, somatographics, wonderful, wonderful uh, portfolio. In detail, we can see afterwards. Then uh, this is my recent work on wood textures. Just. Then these are the, uh, uh, we always uh, invite our members to uh, give their two images clicked in the current month. So these are the two images of Anil Rishal Singh, sir. Then two images of uh, mine. Then other members. And then uh, in one page, I have uh, put the work of young students from Delhi University. Recently, I had a uh, workshop for them uh, online and they, they they were very much interested in photography so few of them they have got very keen interest so i allowed them to give their work to publish in the bulletin these are the media coverage media supports us very much and these are the complete list of our uh, dcc photo webinar started uh, uh, from 29th 8th 2020 till date this is the membership form. Uh, this is the YouTube link, link for the, our previous uh, photo webinar. And this is the back cover page. So friends, now our next agenda is honoring our guests. Because previously we have honored all these four uh, 
uh, respected guest uh, with the <coughs> fellow of DCC. So now this is the time uh, to upgrade the honor because of their services. They have done a lot, uh, not only for Dhanbad Camera Club, to the complete uh, international photographer fraternity. Mm. So uh, uh, in that line, I will start. Actually, uh, our secretary was to present the certificate, but since he is uh, traveling, uh, so I am I, I am uh, presenting uh, the honorary certificates on his behalf. This is the certificate honoring uh, Ricardo Bosi as Grand Master DCC. A clap. Thank you. Is it visible? No, we are not seeing the certificate. Oh, oh, oh. actually, I stopped sharing my screen, so that was the issue. Wait, wait. I think now it's visible. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, so we are uh, we are pleased to uh, uh, confer on very Grand Master DCC to our uh, Ricardo Busi. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, friends. Next is conferring on very Grand Master DCC to our Joseph Snellja. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, friends, he, he took a printout. Uh, this Lisa informed me earlier. So nice of you. I told him that you printed it. Uh, I, I will take so a much. photograph afterwards. It's quite quite an honor, and I appreciate that so much, Mukesh. Thank you so much. So happy. So happy from the core of my heart. Then next is uh, conferring uh, honorary Grandmaster DCC to Dr. B.K. Sina. I think he will join us after 8.30 tonight. A big clap for him. Next is our most lovable and respected uh, photographer from the country, Anil Rishal Singh. Uh, he is our chief advisor also. And practically, uh, I have got two hands. Uh, he is my right hand and Lisa is my left hand. So with the help of these two hands, I am really, uh, by the blessings of the God, I am doing everything efficiently. So I am. I feel honored and I feel humble. Uh, so uh, our next honorary grandmaster DCC is being conferred uh, on Anil Rishal Singh, sir. Big clap. <clears throat> So, friends, uh, we are so happy tonight because uh, celebrating a, a Golden Jubilee webinar is really is a, a tough task. And you, all the senior photographers and the, uh, God's blessing was uh, with me to uh, do such kind of endeavor. Uh, and now, uh, because uh, I wanted to make it a historical in terms of media coverage, so I have requested a, a TV a telecast network uh, to cover the whole uh, uh, presentation. So they wanted few words from each and every uh, guest tonight. Few words means ki feel free to say anything about Dharbad Camera Club, about your contribution, anything feel free. Uh, because uh, this will be uh, uh, wonderful uh, while uh, presenting on TV, television. So I will start with uh, um, Ricardo Bursi, sir. Uh, let me uh, change the first angle. Yes. Please go ahead. A few words from you. Okay. Regarding this uh, interesting webinar organized today by the friends of the Dambad Camera Club, I can only express my compliments on behalf of myself and the entire FIAP for this splendid initiative. Every moment <clears> when <throat> we can come together to talk about photography is, in my opinion, a beautiful moment. Meeting old and new friends, but uh, old friends <laughs> such as uh, <laughs> Nelson, Barun Sina, and Hani Rizal Sig, 
and having the opportunity to continue learning from each of them uh, while admiring their uh, incredible images is without any doubt a unique moment. So for this reason, thank you, dear friends, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you, Ricardo. And now I'll request our next honorary guest, uh, Joseph Snellger. Yes, dear. It's your time now. Well, thank you. Um, I have to say this is truly an honor and uh, to be invited as a guest speaker again uh, for DCC's Golden Jubilee uh, photo webinar. I can't believe it's 50 of these webinars have gone on. And this is a very, very unique situation where we've gathered together some of the amazing photographers from around the world. And it's a pleasure to be here on the screen with Ricardo and Arneel and also Barun when he shows up. Um, I've, I have such a great pleasure in knowing these people and again, sharing some of my photographic experiences with you. Um, this grand event with our four current and past presidents from PSA, FIOP and FIP, uh, this is just an amazing webinar. Congratulations to you, Mukesh, for putting together this grand event. And I, I really, really, really look forward to viewing the best images from my fellow presenters. This is how we speak to each other through photography. Yes. And this is such a unique uh, experience. I don't think it's ever been done before. And who knows if it will ever be done again. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of this very, very special event. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Uh, and since uh, Dr. Sina is not uh, right now here, so I request our next uh, honorable guest, Anil Risal Singh, sir, to say a few words about his own club. Thank you, Mukeshji. Hello and Namaskar, everybody. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate Dhanbad Camera Club and its president, Mr. Mukesh Srivastav, for organizing uh, this evening the 50th photo webinar. Uh, as already it is said that uh, this is the golden jubilee celebration of webinar YDCC. It's a, it's a great effort. Uh, I would rather say uh, this webinar culture uh, or movement, you can say, started when there was a, a corona. We were not allowed to go outside our homes. We are not allowed to meet with each other. So this uh, webinar, webinars are started by the different uh, camera clubs and societies of the world. And uh, yes, the time was very difficult, but with, through webinar, uh, virtually we used to meet it with each other, interacting with each other and seeing each other's work and learning in the field of science and art of photography. So uh, in those difficult times, it was uh, an asset to have a webinar. What, with the time, when Corona went away, most of the camera societies uh, and clubs uh, stopped uh, organizing the webinars. But here I would uh, very happy to say that Dhanbad Camera Club is still continuing with these webinars. And today they are, or we are celebrating the 50th webinar, the Golden Jubilee webinar. So it's a great feat. Again, I would like to congratulate Dhanbad Camera Club. Uh, I, I would also like to thank Dhanbad Camera Club for putting me in this elite and exclusive group comprising of the president of FIEP, Mr. Ricardo Busi, president of Photographic Society of America, Mr. Schlenzer, and secretary general of Federation of Indian Photography. So it's a great honor. I really feel humble and uh, I wish Dunbar Camera Club may achieve the great heights in the future. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, and now, friends, we have come to the stage where we are, we are going to watch the best 20 images of the top-notch 
international photographers. So we will start with uh, Ricardo Gussi. Uh, Ricardo Gussi, uh, please share your screen and let us enjoy your amazing work. Yeah, over to okay. you. I can share my screen. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, not, I'm not so sure that these are my, my 20 best photo. I'm just the 20 photo. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> Done. Uh, I hope that the best photo um, I will be able to shoot uh, in uh, the next months. <laughs> so no, just... Ricardo, let me, let me tell you, we are planning to invite you again. Uh, yeah. And uh, Jaya, uh, after the month of, I think, April, we'll, we'll invite both of you one by one because uh, uh, it's not the end. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just a moment. Yeah. So... Your screen is visible now. Okay. Do you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes, yes. We can see it. Okay. So, uh, the first one. First one. Uh, is uh, a photo that I shot uh, some years ago in the Grand Mosque in uh, uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, this was the first one. Yeah. Then the second one uh, is a photo that I shot last year uh, in uh, Oman. Uh, and last, uh, uh, no, two years ago, sorry, in 2022. So our first uh, photo meeting after the pandemic period. The third one, uh, this was a photo shoot in Wahiba Desert, uh, once again uh, in Oman, but uh, in 2019. I uh, went in Oman, I, yes, I visited Oman more than uh, uh, 14 times. So I had uh, a lot of uh, beautiful uh, occasion to explore this wonderful country. Again, Wahiba Desert. This was the year before, in 2018. If you have a question, please carry on. Uh, here on the country, we are in Mongolia. Uh, in 2019, uh, in the Gobi Desert, at the sunset. I like also take a photo of architecture. Uh, so this was uh, a photo uh, shot in Bilbao at the Guggenheim Museum. And this was shot uh, in uh, 2019. This is a very, very, very old picture. This is a photo shot uh, in analogic and uh, was it uh, probably 2005 or 6 uh, in Vancouver this is my is one of my uh, latest photos uh, i shot last uh, november in yerevan in uh, uh, in armenia uh, I saw this beautiful uh, uh, place. This is uh, the, was, uh, is, uh, the cascade of Yerevan. Uh, it's the main square, the main, uh, yes, monument uh, of uh, Yerevan. And, but was uh, very, very busy, very crowded. So I, um, I asked my friend, uh, Gary Kevanesian, but it's not possible to return here in the morning at seven o'clock when there is nobody here around. And for this reason, we organize a shooting section with a model at seven o'clock in the morning there. It was really very cold. Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> on the country, is a shoot in Florence. Uh, was uh, my first photo after the pandemic period. 
in the Strozzi Museum. Um, so after one year, I had uh, the opportunity to return, uh, finally to return uh, to take some picture out of my house. And there was this uh, girl that was uh, watching uh, this, uh, uh, well, I don't know, this is a kind of uh, art. Uh, I just added the, the color in this uh, photo, nothing else. And uh, this was, uh, I stay approximately, I think, a couple of hours before to find a right subject. But uh, this was just a student. I haven't asked anything at all to her. This is a very uh, new photo that I shot uh, the last summer in uh, the blue city of Morocco, Shasha Wen. And it's a very beautiful uh, area for photographer. And probably you know very well, Shasha Wen. Another photo this time of sport. Uh, again, a shoot last uh, summer in Portugal. Uh, Portugal is very well known uh, for the windsurf and uh, for other kind of activity of um, like surf, body surf. And uh, I spent 25, 22 days along the coast and I shoot a lot of uh, photos. In this case, it was very late in the night, in the evening, approximately seven o'clock in the evening, was the last ray of light. And there was a big, big rock behind uh, the surfer. And so for this reason, I, I obtained this uh, unusual light. This was a photo on the country shoot uh, in uh, Trinidad, in Cuba, uh, some years ago, exa exactly in 2007, uh, uh, 17, sorry, 17. And uh, it was just a, a woman watching from uh, her windows. This is a uh, 2000. Uh, 15 or 16, uh, one of my visits uh, in Cyprus, uh, in a monastery, uh, where there was this... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me, let me mute him. Okay. Okay, please carry on. Yeah, was a uh, monk in this monastery, yeah. and uh, I just uh, shoot uh, this photo without asking him anything at all. Another very, very new photo, uh, shoot uh, again in Armenia last uh, November, um, in one of uh, the five or six monasteries that uh, we visited. Uh, and there was an unbelievable light that morning, really unbelievable light. So I think that uh, we was very, very, very lucky. <laughs> obtain uh, this kind of to, to, to find this kind of light yeah from the moment that I start as wildlife photographer I have some photo of uh, wildlife in this case uh, I have uh, five Reno uh, this photo was shooting uh, in uh, Zimanga uh, Park in South Africa in uh, 2018 and uh, in height, uh, and I was uh, incredibly lucky at the three o'clock in the night to get up at this uh, five beautiful Reno. It was just, uh, I think, uh, three meters from my windows. Very old, old, old photos. Uh, this is approximately in. Two, in uh, uh, 2000 or 2001, uh, mountain lion in Montana, uh, just uh, during uh, a session, I was a model. Uh, but uh, I like the action, I like the movement. And so for this reason, I put this uh, in the 20, 
uh, for those. This is on the country is uh, a photo shooting in uh, 2019 in uh, Costa Rica. Uh, that, uh, from my opinion, is one of the best place for the wildlife photographer. As a beautiful, beautiful place. I hope to return in Costa Rica as soon as possible, because uh, I think it's uh, you know, we have a lot of possibility, opportunity for a photographer. This, on the contrary, is a photo of a gannet shoot last year, uh, two years ago, sorry, two years ago in uh, October uh, 2021. In, in England, in England, along the coast of England. And I think that it is, uh, it is also, no, this is the last one. This is the last one that shot last uh, uh, August, uh, last uh, July in uh, England, in the Skomer Island, in Skomer Island. That is a beautiful uh, uh, place for puffins. And this, I think, is, uh, Absolutely, the last have one. Have you connected it to this before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, friends. Up to you. I don't okay, hear so, answer. Are you there? Yes. What is happening? I don't hear you. Mukesh, you're Mukesh, muted. You're muted. Mukesh, Please unmute. Ah, yeah. Uh, Ricardo, stop sharing your screen. Okay, I will yeah. try. Just yeah. a moment. Uh, on, on the top of your screen, there is a button. Yeah, stop yeah, sharing. yeah, yeah. It's a problem. Just a moment, because uh, yeah, yeah, please, have... please, please take your time. I should make a point. Okay. Yes, done. Done. Wonderful images. Wonderful images. And uh, I think uh, uh, we should not say best twenty. It is your uh, most favorite twenty images. So our our next. Uh, uh, honorable guest is uh, Joseph Snellger from uh, Colorado. Uh, Joseph, please present yes. your most favorite 20, maybe 20 plus plus. It, it, it is free to everybody. Okay, please carry on. Share your screen. Okay, let's see. Okay. Where is my screen here? I've discussed it yet. I have made you co-host, yes. No, that's not it. So you keep it on the background. You just I kept it on the background. And you just tap on it. You don't. Yeah, it's visual now. Oh, man. Where is it here? I know, I know. Where is it? Hold on. Your screen is visible. Dear. Hide your video. Hide the video. Hold on. I'll stop sharing. Do you want to hide your video for a second? Yeah, I am. I just did. Oops. I this is it. So is um and is so, it on? So pull that out. And you have to go to Zoom. Yeah. 
union all over the place. Mm -hmm. You said your screen was visible earlier. Okay, so go back. Go back. Zoom again. No, don't log in again. Don't. Um. You're working on something. Let me try logging in again. No. You're in. I can see you. You're you're on Zoom right now, and you're also not muted. Tell them you're working. I'm working on it. Jr, please let me know if I can. Uh... Uh, help you in solving the issue. That's right. Did you know? That's going to turn on my camera. We're having trouble finding the Zoom app. That's the Zoom app. Where it is right here. No. Why don't you go to someone else, Mukesh, and I'll figure this out. Uh, you do one thing. Uh, you just uh, uh, log out from the uh, uh, Zoom and then again join again. The problem will be resolved. Join again. Okay. Okay. You leave the meeting and join again. Your problem will be resolved. Right there. Yeah. In the meantime, Okay, please try it. Then we, we have enough time because already we have, I, I have done very uh, 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 fast. You can take time. Just leave the meeting and join again. Okay, so here I am. Yeah. I think we got it. Double click, share, share. Yes, yes. Yes? Yes, yes, your screen is visible now. Now make it full screen. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I think we're there. Yeah. Okay. Done, 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 done. Sorry, I apologize. No, no. Thanks, bro. Well, okay. I'll tell you what, this is uh, following Ricardo's best images is is pretty uh, daunting for me because his images are so great. <laughs> to be honest with you, my best images are yet to come. So this is what I'm going to do is just represent my personal style and interests. Yes. And this is, how, this is how I see the world through my lens. So I have always been intrigued with portrait work and, and to me, the eyes of a human being are the souls of who they are. And you can almost look into them. You'll, you'll notice a lot of times that um, my images have strong eyes looking out at you. This, uh, this particular uh, person was in San Francisco and uh, he just has that strong jawline, but those eyes are just penetrating. And I titled this one Intense for a reason. This obviously was shot in India because I, I enjoy traveling to India. We've been there three times and are looking forward to the next time that we can get there. But again, it's the eyes of the individual that are just penetrating into us. Um, I do a lot of portrait work and, you know, again, 
noticing the eyes, bringing the eyes out. A trick I learned uh, many years ago was that I actually make the eyes just slightly larger than they are uh, when I take the image. And uh, it just brings those eyes, the intensity of that. I do a lot of um, background painting with the image. And you'll notice that only the face is sharp. The rest has been painted out a little bit. But this is the kind of work that I enjoy doing. This is our most recent trip to India um, a year ago, roughly. And uh, again, the eyes make this person stand out and, and become more than just a model. And this was actually shot in uh, Spokane, Washington, um, the beautiful red hair and the green eyes, just an Irish lass, I call this one. And again, it's that intensity of the staring of that individual at us. Um, I also really like old buildings, old farms and scenics. And um, this is the Weber homestead in the Palouse. And I'd gotten up that morning and it had been the very first snow, but you can see where the snow line is. It hadn't reached down below to where the uh, old farmstead is. But uh, it, it's just that being able to capture that one moment in time, I probably would never be able to ever capture this again. So sometimes we just get lucky with our images. I love old barns, as I said, and when clouds form and, you know, you have some unique uh, atmospheric condition around the barns. That's really amazing to me anyway. Um, again, this is in the Palouse uh, and we have a series of almost all the colors. We have blue, we have green, we have yellow, we have red, and we have this dynamic cloud that's uh, just popping up behind the, the barn here in the Palouse. And this is a, a, just a few, maybe 30 miles from my house. Um, it's the Pawnee National Grasslands, and a lot of the old farms and homesteads that were out there have been abandoned, and they just sit there, and they're deteriorating. Um, it won't be long, and this building will probably be gone totally. And again, back in the Palouse, um, I have years ago, long, long time ago, learned to, in my landscape work, which is now pretty standard for most people, is to have something in the foreground, something in the midground, and something in the background. And so these pumpkins just draw you into the image. Turn your camera. Um, this is a very uh, unique place here in Colorado. Um, it's the Marble Mill. Um, and unfortunately, it's not really a mill. It was actually designed and built as a hydroelectric plant. And it is very, very hard to get into. You need four-wheel drive and a lot of uh, backbone to drive in to get to this place. I had been down. I had heard that there might be some fresh snow. It was in the fall. And I was the very first person into this location. And Again, I don't think I'll ever be able to capture this again with the aspen trees glowing and yet fresh snow on the building and all around. So to me, this is a very, very special image. I love boats and um, I probably have a thousand or more boat pictures of different locations. And um, this one was actually shot in uh, Ireland and uh, I, I just love the formation of the boats. And then I added, because the background was kind of drawing your attention away, I turned it into more of a um, Monet type painting in the background while keeping the boats, the blue boats, uh, very sharp and crisp. Nature, I, I again, I was a national park ranger in the United States in uh, the Grand Tetons and Rocky Mountain National Park. And because of that, I really, and I have a, a, a bachelor's degree in biology. And because of that, I love nature. And these bats in uh, Arizona come at night. And I was very fortunate in shooting a whole series of bat pictures coming in and landing. Uh, this is in Rocky Mountain National Park. And this is when the uh, elk and the mule deer um, fight with each other to gain dominance for the 
group of females that are out watching them. The females you can't see, they're sitting there clapping, waiting for one of the, them to win. This is one of those um, photos that I had in my mind, I wanted to capture this. And um, I was in Bosque de la Pache shooting um, birds. And not far from Bosque de la Pache is the um, um, large array of radio telescopes. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go over and capture this picture. Had it in my mind what I wanted to do. So I get over to the large array and I told the, the attendants that were there what I wanted to do. And they said, well, you can't be here at night. You're not allowed to be here. So I had to uh, com compost this, put this together uh, from my mind, how I wanted it to be. This is how I anticipated it to be, but because I wasn't allowed in at night, I had to put them together. But that was what, in my mind, what I wanted to see. Then not, oh, maybe, I want to say maybe 10 years ago, I was experimenting, trying to figure out, I want to capture time in a photo. And so what I do is I set my camera on a tripod and I take a photo every two seconds for 30, 40, 50 minutes or whatever. And uh, then I pile those hundreds of images together to show or represent time. This is just up the road from my house. And uh, things that are stationary remain crisp and clear. Things that are moving give you this movement to this thunderhead that was building up. This is probably about 15 minutes of exposures. And you can see the storm coming and the building of it. Um, another one that I did, also not too far from my house, as sun is setting and the clouds are moving, you get this array of color. And this was actually about 30 minutes worth of exposures and mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of images stacked on top of one another to create this. So for me, this represents time in one photograph. Then I remember as a kid growing up, you know, I was looking forward to the future of flying cars. I knew that by the time I was adult, we wouldn't be driving on roads, we would be flying our cars. And unfortunately, that hasn't quite materialized yet. So in my mind, I created the flying car as it went down the highway. So this is what to me, flying cars are gonna be like in the future, but unfortunately hasn't happened yet. Um, I love to, perceive things. And I had this model in this kitchen and, and I told her, I said, you know, do you like the vacuum? She said, no, I hate vacuuming. Mm -hmm. I said, well, then how about flying through the vacuuming? So uh, this is a composite, uh, again, of putting together multiple images of this model, flying through and vacuuming your kitchen. Um, again, com when I composite these images together, um, this to me, I just represented a poor broken down car on the highway and lady trying to get some help. I took this original I took this original image in Italy and um, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. Uh, please mute your mics though you are not speaking of this cauldron or whatever it is. And I do a lot of black and white. Actually, I'm classically trained black and white as, as I was introduced. I was studying black and white photography at, uh, at my master's of fine arts. In Ohio State. And so with this, so with this image, uh, just to represent, this is actually an infrared image. I've been doing some infrared models because it really makes the skin look porcelain and it's a yeah. beautiful image. So with that, I speak with my camera and I wanna express, not document the world, but express the world as I see it. So thank you for allowing me. Wonderful. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, especially your experimentation with long exposure. 
uh, that you uh, took the clouds for the 30 35 minutes it is a wonderful wonderful uh, picture uh, i think dr bk sinha is uh, has come now sinha sir ah boliye yes ah yes sir please switch on your your, your time very much in time yeah just entered uh, my home yeah 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 take take a few minutes no no issue sir you can switch on your video and we are very happy that you have reached in time yes sir on please yeah please uh, your video is not uh, well focused please try i couldn't follow tell me again please uh, your face is not well focused uh, uh now new camera has been installed take your time sir no no so we are very much in time थोड़ा सा सर अपने वेब कैम को वाइड कीजिए वाइट करने से आपका फेस ठीक हो जाएगा सर थोड़ा सा वेब कैम को वाइट कीजिए तो आपका फेस साफ हो जाएगा थोड़ा सा डिस्टेंस इंक्रीज कीजिए सर that's the maximum i can go to hello ah ah okay ab kya karna hai bolu Uh, so friends <clears throat> we are fortunate enough uh, that our uh, um, uh, respected guest tonight dr vk sina arrived in time very much in time and this is how he maintains uh, apart from his very hectic schedule uh, he he made it very clear and very point that he reaches in time and so welcome welcome dr varun uh, sina sir and uh, before uh, uh, i request you to share your screen uh, let me uh, honor you with our highest honorary distinction that is the grand master of dcc just hold sir let me share my screen then i can
Wait. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Uh, we are uh, really uh, uh, pleased to uh, confer you uh, our highest uh, uh, honor, that is Honorary Grand Master DCC. Uh, so we are really uh, honored, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for the uh, very, very valuable honor. Uh, it's always a pleasure to receive such accolades, and I'm thankful to the entire and Vast Camera Club team in general, and uh, yourself, Mr. Mukesh Srivastava, in particular. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, uh, before I, uh, you start your uh, uh, presentation, um, uh, I would like to request you to say a few words about our club, because that's, uh, that will be given to the uh, TV telecast. So just a few words. Well, uh, DCC or Dhanwad Camera Club has been doing a wonderful job uh, since the onset of COVID. Uh, many clubs, many groups lost their esteem when the COVID came, but uh, that was not same with uh, DCC. They have uh, taken upon them to uh, keep the light of photography going and they have been doing a great job every fortnight every month there is a program and uh, this, all these programs are extremely uh, extremely uh, valuable and uh, useful for the students of photography thank you sir thank you very much sir good kind, <laughs> kind words of appreciation and uh, also you can share your screen uh, for your presentation of your favorite 20 images. Sir, <clears throat> <coughs> Ah, oh, okay. but uh, 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 you can continue. You can open your folder for presentation. Sir, so open the folder from your my computer. You minimize this zoom screen. Yeah, it's a little longer. Ah. Hello? Hello? Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, doctor. Good evening. In a bath, it's a key. Ah, 
அப்புறம் பேசுறேன் அப்புறம் பேசுறேன் is it there yes it is there we can see your uh, presentation <laughs> okay well um, welcome to all the guests and all the honored guests and visitors to the site uh, for me the photography started uh, after i started visiting forests by chance i got a camera and that added uh, to my uh, hobby of visiting forests so i started taking images so today when i show you 20 of my best images i'll start with uh, nature when well, i see this picture manus is jumping on a wilder beast ultimately she was able to conquer her and uh, this received the award in the pf uh, nature biennial in years uh, this is male elephant in india india sporbet national park early morning 6 o'clock you can see the light and the, this elephant is in mass when they, they live separately and they only come in contact with the other elephants when uh, they need to uh, help uh, meet uh, meet the females they are very dangerous in during this state of mass one should keep a distance from them Cheetah with mom, a long time ago, it was taken in Serengeti. Two tigers. Um, actually, it's not a fight; it's just a sparring in Bandogar National Park, India. And this is Mangla Jodi, Rehron, catching a snake. there this is an eagle uh, the baby of uh, baby gazelle has been killed earlier by uh, by the some other animals and uh, the entire body was consumed when this uh, the this uh, eagle caught hold of the head which is hollow now all the uh, meat and everything from inside has been consumed already that the point again uh, it's so obvious it is take it was taken in kenya <coughs> africa and the as you can see the rain drops in the background and uh, these three lions were sitting actually there were many of them but uh, this was making a good frame so i only included three this is an abstract at uh, yellowstone national park in the Guadu Falls in Brazilian part of Guadu this is a model shoot and uh, the ice pack have been added after the shoot it was very cold and it was very difficult for the model to pose for us for such a long time this is actually taken in, in a place called sonpur mela not from not far from the place where i live this lady is you know was very cooperative to pose for us 
He's a village man in my village. Famous monument in Rome, taken on short, uh, long shutter speed, is one by 15 or one by 20 if that's a second on the tripod. This is Sonpur Fair, Sonpur Mela. Nowadays they don't get elephants here. Earlier they used to come here and sell their elephants, you know. Now uh, there is a ban on sale and purchase of elephants. So one of the charm for the photographer for shooting elephants when they come for bathing is gone. This was, this road is in front of my house, 2019, it was all flooded. Place where I'm sitting now was under one peak of water. Every house had water inside. So people were escaping. By any means they could uh, get hands from. This is village photography in the district of Purulia, Bengal. Now, some black and white images. This is uh, Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, early morning fall. And some birds not at Bharatpur, somewhere else. This is a vagabond who lived, used to live in front of our house. One day I found him very uh, photogenic and without, before he could realize that I'm, to, I'm taking his picture, I was done with. This is sand dunes in Namibia. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, sir. <clears throat> you can stop sharing your screen. There is a button on the top in the middle. On the top middle, there will be a button uh, writing, uh, mentioning a stop sharing. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Wonderful, sir. And really, uh, uh, we are so much delighted and uh, thankful to you. Ki, uh, apart, uh, with your so hectic schedule, uh, you made it a point to uh, join us in time. So uh, now, our uh, next honorable guest, uh, Sri Anil Rishal Singh. I'll request him to share his screen and give his presentation. Over to you, sir. Hello and Namaskar friends. Thank you so very much, Mukesh I am sharing my screen. Yes, sir. It is visible now. <clears throat> it is visible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Hello and Namaskar friends. Once again, I would like to thank Dhanbad Camera Club and in particular its president, uh, Mr. Mukesh Srivastava, for giving me this opportunity to share a few of my images uh, this evening along with the elite group comprising of Mr. Ricardo Busi, uh, President FIEP, Mr. Slenzer, President Photographic Society of America, and our Secretary General from Federation of Indian Photography. So, uh, 20 individual images I'll be sharing with you. Since last 50 years or more, I'm exploring the creative possibilities using the medium of photography, and I'm loving it. This is the magnificent medium to express upon, to communicate upon, to create upon. My 50 years of photography journey may be divided into three phases. Firstly, in the beginning, for about five years or so, 
was doing every genre of photography. Then Engross doing landscape photography, more particularly black and white landscape for about 25 years. Then lastly, exploring form and color found in nature as well as in maidman structures, again for about 25 years. Few years are overlapped each other, friends. I am going to showcase 20 best images taken from all these three phases of my photographic journey tonight, friends. First phase, in the beginning, doing every genre of photography, as it might be uh, similar with other photographers also, in the beginning, we used to try our hand in every genre of, of photography. So in the beginning, for a few years, I am putting my hand and mind and heart in every genre of photography. So four images of that beginning years I am sharing here. This is the still life. I did very few still lives. One of them I am sharing over here. Then I did very few. I made very few nature or wildlife images. This is one of the images. This image is from Lucknow Zoo. The name of oh, these lion and lionesses are Salim and Anarkali. In the morning, there was a beautiful backlit subject, and this picture was made. I tried my hand in portraiture also, and uh, this is my daughter when she was young. And here I would like to quote one of the most important elements of creativity in photography light is that allows us to convey information and more importantly emotion as we all know in portraiture emotions are very very important aspect so i tried some portrait also this is a candid image very old of my picture uh, if i remember correctly it was taken in 1978 or 79. And this is one of my favorite image. And here I would like to quote what Aaron Rose said, in the right light, at the right time, everything is extraordinary. Now the second phase, where I engrossed doing the landscape photography. After doing photography for a few years, I, I felt that uh, my interest in landscape is much more than other genre of photography. And uh, I love doing, I love doing uh, landscape photography, in particular, black and white. And uh, Tim Walker rightly said, only photograph what you love. So in that phase of my, my life, I was loving doing the black and white landscape uh, photography for a quite long uh, time, uh, around about 25 years. So few images from that uh, particular period of my photographic journey, I'm sharing with you. India is a beautiful country and have beautiful landscape, very diversified landscape. If you go, uh, different parts of our country, India, you'll find very beautiful but different landscapes. This image is taken from the state called Uttarakhand, which is very near to our state, Uttar Pradesh, and uh, the place somewhere near Bageshwar. Another place, it is from another far off place. Uh, the state is Himachal Pradesh, and the place is Khajiar. Beautiful morning light was there. Last night, there was a snowfall adding to the positive elements of this landscape image. When I was doing, of course, these are my old pictures uh, taken with the analog photographic system using the photographic films. And in my black and white landscape, 
photography, I used to put yellow green filter always. So in this picture, at the background, the green foliage, uh, by virtue of using the yellow green filter, there is a detail in the shaded dark trees also. As I said, if you go different parts of India, you will find the different kind of landscape. The region which is called Ladakh, Ladakh is a desert, it is called the desert mountain, very uh, little greenery is there. This place, this photograph was made in an archaeological famous place called Elchi. Elchi is famous for it's uh, old uh, wall paintings of Buddhist monastery. And this picture was made. In the morning, I went out with my camera. And uh, I was able to make only two pictures of this shepherd boy with the herds of the shepherd. And when he saw me, he vanished. He ran away with the herds of sheep. Uh, it is a belief uh, in the mountains that if anybody is going to take photograph of your animals, those animals will die. So perhaps uh, having this thought in mind, he ran away and I was able to take only two pictures. Uh, it is always very handy for a photographer to be very alert and fast for making the pictures. On the contrary, sometimes we'll have to wait for the appropriate uh, a uh, moment to capture, but sometimes we'll have to be in a great hurry to make a picture. So this is image lab, black and white landscape from Ladakh region, region of our India. Then another image from Ladakh, again, it's uh, Elchi. As I said, uh, Ladakh is called the desert mountain. Uh, it is all hard rocky terrain landscape over there. But the beauty of this hard, rocky terrain is somewhat which cannot be explained in words, friends. So in that period of my photographic journey, I was loving doing black and white photograph. And I do photography because I love doing photography. When I am able to make a good photographic image, I feel immensely joy and happiness within myself. And this joy and happiness cannot be described in words. Uh, the awards, the distinctions, the praise, these are all secondary things. I, I am doing photography because I love doing photography. Another picture. Uh, the human figure in this picture, I would like to uh, share with you friends. He's Kumar Shukdev Singh. A uh, very famous landscape photographer of, from Lucknow and of our country, India. We used to go on photographic outings in, on hills uh, once or twice in a year. And this picture is made. Mukesh ji, kindly. Oh, yes, sir. Also, this is, I think, the last uh, image uh, of landscape category. And uh, this is a small part of the land. It is also made in Himachal Pradesh, the place called Khajiar. Last, last night, there was a snowfall. And uh, these uh, beautiful curves and beautiful patches of light making this a small part of the land uh, uh, personified into a beautiful landscape study, friends. I made about 10, 12 images, a portfolio of 10, 12 images, and I call this portfolio a survival, given a theme, a survival. One image from uh, that portfolio I am sharing with you. Then after doing landscape photography for such a long time, I'm still doing landscape photography, but not that much. So after doing landscape photography for uh, about 25 years, I started thinking that if a beautiful photograph is made out of a beautiful scene or landscape in front of me or in front of my camera, what 
so very special I have done. That thing is already beautiful. Maybe by some photographic processes or some uh, camera angles, I, I might have increased uh, some of the beauty, but that thing already beautiful. So if a beautiful photographic image is made, nothing so very special uh, is done. Uh, within myself, uh, I said to myself, then I started to strive to create beauty out of the ordinary looking common things which usually go unnoticed. And most of the time it is, you can, I, I call it my uh, experimentation with form and color. And from here, a new journey has begun. And this new journey is exploring form and color found in nature as well in, as in man-made man structures. So firstly, I will uh, show you some of my images uh, uh, found in nature, exploring form and color in particular. This picture was made in Rajasthan. The place is called Khuri. And I would like to quote here, light makes things visible, but photographer makes light visible. A very, again, a very small portion of the desert land. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful graphic forms we used to found in nature. This picture is from, again, from Ladakh, the Zanskar region, and the place is Rangdu. This beautiful necklace-shaped algal growth in the little water body. Virtually, as I said, Ladakh is a dry place. Very uh, few places you will find the water. And I think this is the rain water uh, gathered in this small pit. And in due course of time, uh, green algal growth. Very, very fascinating, interesting algal growth was found. And in particular, my principal object is this foreground, the algal growth. The very interesting and graphical forms found in nature, along with the color. Another picture <coughs> I would like to share uh, in particular with Dr. Sina that this picture was made from the uh, Ganges, uh, from the Ganges River. These are all agriculture field transformed into the study of form and color found in nature, taken in Patna. This is the adenium plant and uh, adenium plant is always, I feel very interesting and fascinating. And whenever I see this image, I presume that a mother is having a child in her lap. So now, these days, I am loving capturing such type, making such types of the images from nature and man-made structures. Again, this is picture taken uh, from one of the park of Bangalore, the fallen tree stem, weathered and deteriorated. I always feel that deterioration may make things more beautiful. And this may be one of the good example of that. Rotten, deteriorated, but beautiful. Now, exploring form and color found in man-made structures. Uh, mostly, I am doing photography in this category these days. Uh, exploring form and color found in man-made structures. And uh, <clears throat> probably, most of the time, uh, these are the concrete structures. This is the road sign some plastic uh, road partitions, uh, temporary road partitions in the background, and that's all. And I would like to share, friends, uh, this is, again, one of my favorite image. 
it is made with 24 millimeter wide angle lens. Another picture made up of uh, wide angle lens, a study of form and color. It was taken in the, the Disneyland. These colored concrete paths were made to fascinate the children. And at the top of the image, the half body of uh, <clears throat> the boys, purposely, I included only the legs. Uh, another picture under the study of uh, form and color. And again, I would like to share this picture was made in the FIEP Congress in South Korea a few years back. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> this picture was accepted and hung in the exhibition of uh, <coughs> National Dalit Kala Academy New Delhi's exhibition a few years back. So these days I am exploring the geometrical forms found in man-made structures in particular. Another image. Simple image. And these days uh, the minimalization is a famous term when the offer may make an image with few elements. Yes, indeed friends. When we are able to make a good photographic image with few elements, it is always, the beauty is always of very high order. I, I personally experience it. And uh, another, you, you may call it an architectural image or a study of form and color, but a simple image. Very few colors are there. You can say very close to the monochromatic effect and very few elements. And uh, I always remember, and perhaps it is very rightly said by Leonardo Vinci, simplicity is ultimate sophistication. Yes, friends, simplicity is uh, ultimate sophistication. And uh, this previous image was taken from the Lotus Temple from New Delhi. And uh, this last image, again from the Lotus Baha'i Temple from New Delhi, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So we are at the end of my presentation. <clears throat> I took this liberty, Mukherjee, to show 21 of my images instead of 20 to make it more auspicious. Thank you. Thank you so very much, friends. I am stop sharing my screen now. Thank you so much, sir. And... Uh... Anil sir, the way I, I managed, still we have got few minutes for anybody to show images. Anyway, uh, it was managed so well. It, exactly the same time uh, the presentation is over. Uh, Kapoor sir, please be ready for the vote of thanks. Uh, before Kapoor sir uh, gives vote of thanks, I will request the participants to ask, feel free to ask any question from our uh, respected guest tonight. Anyone? Okay. Jaggi sahab, koi sawal pushna hai? So everyone is uh, at their best and uh, their uh, frames are uh, stunning frames. And I think there is no question because uh, they are uh, answerable. Each and every frame was answerable to for uh, their creativity. So no question is there. No, thanks. And I thanks each and every artist. They have done marvelous job. Thank you. Uh -huh. Well, there is no uh, a requirement for asking any question here because every photograph which was presented here was so nicely presented and it was showing a story in itself. 
So everything was so well presented and well understood that there is no question of asking anything. So I thank every presenter for such a beautiful presentation and timely in nice way. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thanks, uh, Jain Sahib. Uh, friends, uh, today I am really, really Dharmaad, uh, on behalf of Dharmaad Karam Camera Club. I am very happy because uh, at one evening, within two hours, we were able to see a lot of good images. Uh, not only good, I can say uh, uh, top class images by top notch, top notch international photographers. Uh, so now I'll request uh, uh, Himalaya King uh, Thirish Kapoor Saab uh, uh -huh. to vote of thanks and say a few words. Yes, over to Kapoor Saab. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. अपने आप को अनम्यूट कीजिए कर लिया कर लिया डोंट वरी हेलो हां जर्नलिस्ट की आवाज आ गई यस मुकेश जी एंड ऑल मेंबर ऑफ धनबाद कैमरा क्लब एंड पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इट्स माय ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट आई हैव बीन आस्क्ड टू गिव वर्ड ऑफ थैंक्स to all members of dhanbad camera club and mukesh ji it was a wonderful program i remember you have been making effort to produce one journal one uh, digital form so near every month after in every webinar you have collected everyone from the world from from fiab from psa from Uh, uh, FIP from every part of the world organizations to show their work here. It's an outstanding effort, and I know only one man, Mukesh Rajda, can do it. I've been to Dhanbad. I've been to your place. I've seen the the effort you are making to teach photography, share photography, give photography. i like two things very specially with mukesh ji and anil ji they always like to give so please keep it keep it up keep giving things to the society the young generations and i'm sure they will always enjoy they will learn and they will remember you that's the biggest gift one can give i'm very thankful to lisa also mr busi also mr uh, president of psa also for presenting their work outstanding work how a photographer can capture the motions people say that motion cannot be captured by photographs but in still photography the way that has been done the way the finest thing has been captured from the um arabian area or the other states fantastic anil your work is outstanding Uh, i have no words to say anything <laughs> i've been working with you for last 50 years you see our friendship is going to be 50 year old now this year yes, we'll be yes. having vision of 50 years of photograph but your every image is unique the amount of effort you put in fantastic thank Hats you also to you also and i'm very thankful to dr bk sinha also for making it i i know how difficult it would be to travel from somewhere flight landing coming to home and at right moment he was there to present this show so your wildlife images are mind boggling we have learned so many things from you and uh, it says after after many i think after long long time you have come to some social media or you have come to these webinars very thankful to you at the end i would like to thank everyone who participated in this show we have learned a lot of things we have learned a learned lot of find out details about the photography by the by different presentations and i wish tanbad camera club all photography world of the of photography world that we should contribute something to the world of photography and increase our foot increase our um, because i i believe in one thing that if you convert every child every youth into an artist there will be no climb in the world 
so we can be a torch bearer of the peace in the world. Once again, thanks a lot, Mugeshji. Thanks a lot, Thanbad Camera Club, Thanbad. Every member of Photography World and every uh, our honorable guests for giving this beautiful presentation. I'm sure Mukeshi will continue this uh, for coming many years also, and we will have good company together. Thank you and good night for a nice presentation, nice day. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, friends, uh, uh, Dr. B.K. Sina is, is our family head of <coughs> And uh, we we always get a very sincere and honest guidance from him. Uh, Sina sir, uh, I think we should restart inviting all those uh, uh, top-notch photographers again, uh, uh, effective from the month of April. Because till the month of March, uh, already uh, the, um, the webinar is booked. So I will, one by one, I will invite, uh, say, Ricardo Gussi, uh, Joseph Snelger, Lisa Snelger, and yourself, Anil sir, again, with a new topic and a fresh presentation. So, uh, uh, thanks again. And uh, Dhanbal uh, Camera Club always needs blessings of all those senior photographers across the globe. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Sure and good night. Thank you, friends. and good Thank night, you. and congratulations, everyone. Good night, Good everyone. Show. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good for show, sir. Good night, Garbusi. Great Good show. Night. Night. Good night. Please, please convert these trophies into a museum. <laughs> I I get a museum. When, when I saw your this collection, a thought came to my mind that why not you make a small museum? Like I'm creating a photography museum in Kosani, where I will have all the old cameras. But I request you to create these trophies also. Okay. They are from all over the universe and globe. We'll do that. We'll do that uh, for Kosani itself. Don't worry. Okay. If you if you like, I will provide you uh, 300 square feet area. Okay. Closed for these trophies. Okay. Done. 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 Yes, done. 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 Okay. We have a big place here. We can do it. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Good you. Night. Bye, Good Liza. Night. Bye. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone.